Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Seth and welcome back to another Ark Survival Evolved video today. Folks, I'm going to show you how to tame the Procoptodon. So, obviously the Procoptodon is a kangaroo-like creature in Ark, which you can tame and ride. And I'm going to aim for that one over there because it is a high level. Um, now, there are several things and um, there are some changes there. But first off, you will need some of these, which are the rare mushrooms. And then you will also need a saddle to ride it. So we're going to go through what you need in order to craft the saddle and what level you craft it at. So I just uh, enabled the little tooltip so you guys can see the information there. And you can craft the Procopdon saddle at level 23. These are the resources that you'll need, of course, to craft it. It's not that expensive. But also, you can try, or you used to be able to use a bowler. Now, things have changed and bowler does not work anymore. So I'm going to show you a different method of taming this. Now, this is a passive creature, and once you attack it, it will run away. So we will want to kite it into a trap. So let's show you what the bowler does and why it does not work. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I remember being able to use a bowler when this creature initially came out. I don't really tend to tame Procoptodons very often, but nowadays it does not work. So, obviously for this, we will want another creature, and as you can see there, the moment you shoot a dart at it, it will run away. Of course, for this, you can use the long neck rifle as well as the um, crossbow with the Trank arrows. I'm just trying to locate that Procopodon. I don't want to lose it. It is a high level. So we'll try the bowl again just to kind of reinforce the fact that you can't use it, and that it wasn't a bug or a glitch or any of that sort. Let me just get close enough to it. And there we go. And then want away. Now, the other thing that you need to know is that if that Procopodon is scared and it is close to another one, all of them will run away. Very important before you even start this is to make sure that the environment around you is clear of any hostiles. So we're having a look at them. I'm just going to have to wait it out. Eventually, they will calm down, and once it's calmed down, I can then kite it. Now, notice that there are a lot of creatures around. So the very first thing you want to do is you will want to clear the area out. Now, I know that these are passives, but we are going to use the rare flower to kite it into the crap. The moment you consume a rare flower, you will pretty much aggro everything around you. So for that reason alone, we don't want to be dealing with too many bad things. And you have to kind of be careful with that so you do not attack the Procopodon. It does tend to wander about quite randomly. Now, I'm going to use stone structures. So we'll need foundations, walls, and of course the ramps for the Procopodon to get into the trap. So I'm going to try and get rid of these larger creatures over here. Because then, once you use the rare flower, you will aggro everything on you. And the fewer things you have to deal with, the better. Now, you can do this off of a wyvern. You can do this off of any other creature. You can do this on foot. If you do do this on foot, though, what I do recommend is that you most definitely clear out the area because you will be vulnerable to attacks from pretty much anything and everything. And that includes uh, even the Jerboas that will attack you. So, very, very interesting little function right there. There's another Procoptodon. I'm trying to locate my target. That's... What I'm after. Okay, so I think it's that one. All right, that's the one I want. So I'm going to try and find a fairly flat surface to build on. We're going to build a trap for this. So I'm going to go with a 3x2 trap. Basically, I want to make it wider just so that the Procopodon does not miss the trap. If things go wrong, I'll show you how to repair it. Uh, now, I'm going to go with walls all the way around. And once I have the first layer of walls down, I will then add another one just for good measure. Also, alternative, you might want to have a door frame to replace one of the bottom walls with a door frame once the Procopodon has been knocked out. This will allow you access in and out of the trap. Trying to find this snapping point right there. Okay, got some more walls. So two tall is good enough. I'm going to come around this way, and we will place the ramps. 
I'm not going to go with ramps all around. I'm just going to use the ramps from the position or the side where I will be kiting the Procopodon in. You do want to make sure that the ramps go into the ground or as close to the ground as possible. And there we go. So I'm going to go and get some rare flowers and I will be right back. So put your rare flower in your inventory and then just consume one. What this will do, it will give you a debuff which will make all of the creatures follow and attack you. So as you can see, everything is following and attacking me. But because I did not run past the trap, the Procopnon is stuck on the ramp and it will attack the ramp instead. If that happens, that's not a problem. Just wait it out. It does not do that much damage. If you are on a creature like a Wyvern which has this ability to... Um, uses i don't even know what it's called this wing ability it, you can of course try and get them away from the ramps until they reset when they reset they will run away but you don't have to wait for them to calm down just get close to the procopton that you want consume a rare flower again which will aggro it and then try that again now if you are on a faster creature, you want to run around the ramp. If you have a creature that has the ability to jump, you want to try and over jump the ramp. Kind of like so. And the Procopodon is in. Now, obviously, <laughs> in this case, we won't just have the Procopodon in the trap. There will be many other creatures. You did hear the squeals of a Jerboa attacking me. And I just killed it. Kind of sad, but it is what it is. I wanted the Procopodon. So that is what happens. That's why you don't want to do this on foot. Or if you do do it on foot, make sure that the area is clear. Personally, I recommend placing the door frame in the trap right after you have kited in whatever you're trying to tame. As sometimes it does glitch out and the creatures can pretty much snag onto the door frame and uh, from there find a way out. So that's why I didn't place a door frame at the bottom of the trap. So the Procopodon should be nearly... Okay, there it goes. It is down. And now the first thing I do before I go into the trap is I will remove the ramps. The reason for this is I don't know what else will spawn in the area. And I don't want it to find its way into the trap. Now, things may spawn that are non-hostile, which is fine. But I'm more worried about stuff like Carnos and uh, Uteranesis and stuff like that. That could potentially kill my tame. You can leave the two walls high, but I'm okay with one wall tall. So I will remove a layer of walls just for easy access in and out of the trap. Notice that inside the trap, I do have a variety of creatures. Most of them are non-hostile, so that's fine with me. And so what I will do, because I am on a wyvern, I will walk on top of the trap, basically using the wyvern's body as a shield in case anything bad happens. So let's see... Let me find a way down here. There we go. This allows me access to the wyvern from within the trap. And I also have access to the creature I'm trying to tame. Unfortunately, I will have to reposition the wyvern. Okay, well, I didn't really think this one through. So let's do this. So I'm going to put the wyvern like this. This should allow me access to the Procopodon's inventory. From this point forward, you just put the rare mushrooms in the Procopdon's inventory and wait for it to tame. And of course, you can always use Dodo decks to help you with starving out the creature. And of course, to know how much of the resources you will need to tame it. So that means, of course, the rare mushrooms and narcotics if you will need it. Once it is tamed, you can then, of course, put a saddle on and ride it. This is an amazing creature. It does have a saddle that is for one person, but it does also have a pouch where you can put another player or sometimes small tames. So I'm going to pick this up. Now, I strongly recommend that you keep your servers clean. And so as a result, I will normally pick up my traps and not leave them lying about. So what can this creature do? Well, it can run pretty fast. It can jump pretty far. It is not as good as the Bezo Buffo or the Frog, but it still can do that as well. It does have several abilities. So it does have 
three or four att three attacks actually and of course you can use it to harvest uh, stuff such as berries and wood it is not a good harvester but it does do that if you do have it so let's look at its abilities whoop didn't want to fall down there and I'll just change the camera angle so you guys can see so that is its left click right click which basically knocks creatures back and does a small amount of damage and then if you press c it will grab a small animal that is normally your tame and put it in its pouch all in all a very cool creature i personally like it it does have its uses and that is pretty much it for this video, folks. I do hope that you have enjoyed it and found it useful and informative. If you have, please don't forget to support me in the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself. And if you have just subscribed, why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel? Who knows, you might just enjoy them. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so they get notified when I upload new videos and content to the channel. Also, for those interested, you can always find me on the Sethopia Discord. Links to this, of course, you can find down below in the video's description, as well as in a pinned comment from myself. Until next time, stay safe, folks.